Civil rights groups say the state is denying health care benefits to thousands of Tennesseans and putting their lives at risk. Advocates are filing suit to force the state to extend Medicaid coverage. Fox 17's Erica Lathan live from the federal courthouse with the latest on this developing story. Erica. Well, Stacy, we can tell you that judges here, of course, don't allow our cameras into the courtrooms here at the federal building, but we were able to sit in on this hearing. Our attorneys for the state argued inside the federal courthouse today that it's the uh, federal government that is responsible for not approving hundreds of applications for Medicare and TennCare, but attorneys who filed suit on behalf of the uninsured say the state is simply trying to pass the buck in this one. Now. Uh, attorneys for the Tennessee Justice Center say in the meantime some of the state's poorest and sickest residents are suffering because they can't afford basic health care coverage and they're being denied those services. Uh, the state says it shifted the approval process to from for TennCare to the federal government because its new $37 million computer system is not working properly. But civil rights attorneys say the state is responsible for operating TennCare and approving its applications and that they're simply trying to shift the blame for the backlog of problems. We've got low-income people who need this help, children who are going without needed care, who are canceling surgeries because they can't get a determination, and all the state can do is blame the feds. Well, that's not adequate and it's not the law. I've been to the ER with some serious kidney issues that I've not been able to get resolved or see a doctor, and I now have $6,000 worth of debt from that. And, you know, as a single mom, it's, it's definitely impacted me in my life, and I'm, I'm concerned for my health and not being able to get treatment, and for my son. Uh, Judge Campbell heard the arguments this afternoon, and he says he will issue a ruling in the class action lawsuit probably sometime next week. Whatever he rules could have a dramatic impact on uninsured Tennesseans across the state. We're live downtown. Erica Lathan, Fox 17 News.